Hello lovely people, today I have something uh, very different for you. It's going to be my first tool review because I'm so excited that I cannot hold it in. Basically, I found the best um, crimper, cheap crimper ever. And my search for the best crimper is over. Um, before I do that... I want to show you these. So probably you know these. These are the crimpy thingies that you would use for... I use quite a lot of them because like you can have connections uh, in a car uh, either soldered or crimped, you know? So these, for example, you use for uh, a speaker and I use quite a lot of these. And these, what they do, they crimp uh, two wires. And instead of soldering two wires, you can crimp them together. And I, I just love crimping, you know. And I was looking for a good tool to use on these. And I couldn't find anything. Because I was buying cheap stuff. And cheap stuff is pretty bad. So let me uh, show you and explain you what is the difference between cheap and good. Well, all of them are almost the same price. It's just some some of them are bad, some of them are good. So this one I purchased recently from AliExpress. It's from the pictures. It looked like a perfect tool because it applies pressure um, like this. However, in the pictures, these gaps were much smaller than they are in reality. So this is a, it cost me uh, 15 pounds, something like that, with free shipping from China. And I wish is kind of a good brand, Chinese good brand, whatever. But what it does is, like, if I'm, if I'm closing the jaws, let me just show you. You see, the top, oh, sorry, the top part is already touching here, and the bottom is not. So it doesn't apply the pressure equally. And then, and it, it does the same for all, like here as well, you see? This one is already touching, and the bottom one is not even close. So it's not, the idea is to have them, um, the pressure to be applied equally. Like if you do it, if I squeeze my hand, like here, it does that. But since there's like, uh, manufacturing is not perfect, and it has some wiggle room and everything, when you do it with the handle, it doesn't apply pressure equally. And at the same time, you can see how big are the gaps. So these are the two Knipex uh, tools that I use. And I want to, the main one is this one is uh, 9721215B, B version, because there's different versions. And what it has, it has, so these two are very similar. The differences are, it has like a wire stripper, wire cutter, a bolt cutter, and then you have these. So these are the same crimps. So this one is like this, and this one is like this. And what I want you to compare the gaps. So look at this gap, especially because the, the main that you're going to use is this one, the top one. So this is, uh, it's quite a big gap, yeah? On this one, there is a smaller gap, much smaller, if you compare it like this, see? There's a much smaller gap, but there's still a gap. But on this one, there's extremely, extremely small gap. And what this one has as well, if you can see on this part, come on, this part, the, the guide... Uh, middle part so let me show you actually what it does so you will understand it better basically you have this thingy you put it in uh, just like that actually let me squeeze it a bit like that there we go and what it does is when you squeeze it it kind of rolls onto itself see so if I'm going to try to show it in focus, be in focus, okay. If I'm going to squeeze it, it rolls 
and you see it rolls onto itself. And if you squeeze it very hard, it squeezes like this. And then you would have, I'm gonna squeeze, because this has two parts. So one part is for the wire, the middle one, and this one is for the sleeving. So I'm gonna do the same with that part as well, which I will need a smaller one. You're not gonna be able to see it, but let me just squeeze it very fast and then look. So what it did, it squeezed it like into itself and there's literally no gap. So if I'm gonna use the same thing, let me find one like this, with this one, yeah? So the idea is the same. I'm putting it there and I'm gonna squeeze it. So the bigger one, it kind of squeezes fine, but the smaller one, it leaves a gap. It does, it does squeeze, but leaves a gap. And if you're using a smaller uh, gauge wire, it doesn't crimp it properly because it just leaves too much space, you know? So that's why I didn't like this one. Now, first one that I bought, it was this one, and I liked it a lot because it did squeeze good. The crimp was good. However, this is in the middle of like the pliers. So when you have to, when you have a crimp, you always have to go like over the wire and then you have to crimp it. And if you have like a connection, then you have to remove the pliers all the time. So it was very inconvenient. But this, the new ones, are on the end and they're much, much more convenient. Though the other thing is like, if you compare the distance between like the crimps and the middle part, you would notice that this one is closer to the center. And since the handles are almost the same length, you have more um, leverage with these. And that means you need less pressure to apply in order to get a very good crimp. So let me show you these ones because I love these thingies, yeah? So these are for connect to connect two wires. So for this, I'm gonna cut the wire to strip it. It's just like a regular, normal stripping thingy. Strip one, strip two, and then this, I love these little thingies. You put the wire in there, yeah, like this. So it's just like that. So you crimp the wire with the first one and you crimp the sleeving with the second one. So let me do that. I'm gonna put in this little thingy, just like that. I'm gonna put, put the wire in. Sorry for the focus, it doesn't wanna focus. Just like that. So I have the wire. Uh, you cannot see. The wire is inside. I'm going to crimp it just like that. And then you have the wire. There's one strand out. But then you have the wire perfectly crimped. Then slightly squeeze this and you crimp the jacket. Not too hard, but at the end, you have something like this, yeah? And then you do exactly the same with the other one, with the other wire that you're putting it in. So just like that, put in, squeeze, put in, and squeeze. I didn't squeeze this one properly. Anyway, so uh, there you have it, a crimp, and for me, I don't know, for me, I, I love these crimps, I don't really like soldering in the car, like if it's outside the car, like RCA's or stuff, yes, but like crimps for me are much better. 
So I just want to say that if you want a good crimper, you can recommend your crimper that you have if you use crimpers. You can recommend your crimper in the comments as well. But for me, the best crimper that I found is this Nipex. The model number again is 9721215B because other versions will be with uh, with these jaws, different one, different jaws. But these are so far the best crimpers I've ever found and I'm very extremely, extremely happy with them. So if you're looking for a pair of crimpers, buy these. And please comment below if you have, if you think that you have a, a better pair because these cost like 20, 25 pounds, which is like, I don't know, 25, $30 which is extremely cheap compared to the automatic ones that you have. But yeah, cool. Thank you very much for watching, guys. See you in the next one.